Hi, I'm Dr. Timothy Mazzoli here at Gulf Coast Ultrasound with your hot tip of the day. We are looking at the coracohumeral ligament and the rotator interval of the shoulder. Okay, so here we are scanning the rotator interval of Casey's right shoulder. And what I'm looking at first is the proximal biceps tendon. And the important structures here to note are that once you have the biceps in good view, try and pull out the subscapularis tendon, which is going to be just medial to the biceps, and then the supraspinatus, which is just lateral. And that's where it's the rotator interval, the interval between the two rotator cuff tendons, supraspinatus laterally and subscap medially. The important structures here to look at are indeed the corcohumeral ligament, which sits above the biceps tendon and acts as a roof to it. And it has two components. So coming out laterally in this dark area here and above the bicep is the lateral coracohumeral ligament. And it extends distally down to the intertubercular groove and then inserts onto the greater tuberosity. Scanning back proximally, lateral coracohumeral ligament. On the other side of the biceps, you have the medial coracohumeral ligament. And this acts as almost like a sling around the biceps. And this medial coracohumeral ligament also extends down distally, but onto the lesser tuberosity, where it blends with the superior glenohumeral ligament, which is deep to the biceps in this location. The two ligaments, the superior glenohumeral ligament and the medial coracohumeral ligament, blend together with the superficial fascia of the subscap tendon, which is over here. And that's your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try. Thank you.